Okay, so, hello, welcome back. We had, in the uh, last episode, we had an awful lot going on. We were doing the battle preparations. It went on for a good 30, close to 30 minutes. To make up for that, we are going to, boom, right, that's it recording again. We're going to be taking a different approach. First off, we're going to take a look at the actual, what do you call it, it's not this one. One of the items, yeah, it was actually that. I just noticed, I, I went around because it was obviously going to take too long to do full training and took out a load of creatures and made the, uh, you know, our, wep our weapons, our fo folk really high. Now I've got up here on the screen the fairy book pages and it just occurred to me what they really mean. So you see down there, there's our little stick poker things. It appears that they are super effective against the giant uh, giraffes. The ladybug is weak against that thing that the tray bot, or whatever it's called, that looks a bit like a tiger. No, 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 it doesn't look like a tiger, it looks like a, I don't know, panther or something with horns. Uh, it appears that the burgess thing is weak against the um, flies that shoot fire that we will call Will-O-The-Wisp for sake of it that the burges are strong against some sort of tree creature as is a fire attack so now we know well that's I'm assuming that's some sort of wood tortoise and that's also weak against the fire creatures right so that's what that's what the folk thing means we've collected a lot of things well we've uh, obviously been doing you know while I, I went off and slayed a lot of stuff so I'm going to quickly upgrade some of these folks that we can upgrade so we can't do them yet because I don't know what brolicans are so we haven't faced them we're going to upgrade the shield yes we're going to use the pulse nuts we're going to go kill one an ogrim with a you with a tray naught we're going to upgrade the um, andraste we go. We don't have a red liquid yet, and we're gonna go kill a ogrum, a trainant with an ogrum, and that's just the Burgess thing, the boss basically. So those are as upgrades as we can get them. If I go off to the side here, pretty sure we'll run into a trainant or, or an ogrum or something. There's your trainants. We have the ogrum on the setting, so all we're gonna have to do is just this, this, just keep doing this. Yeah, we killed one. This thing, by the way, I realised its usefulness, the um, Ogrim, they're very good at attacking individual targets, because as you see, they do this kind of rapid dagger motion. So once we take this thing and kill it with an Ogrim, we should, this is, should here, upgrade the Ogrim. There we go. Right, I'm just going to take out this, this thing, just because I want its uh, energy. For experience purposes. Right, there we got that. Uh, we don't actually need to kill anything else, so I'm going to go grab what's in this crystal and then just peg it because the load of shields come out, as we all well know. Yeah, just get that health thing and just peg it away from these mini shields that have effectively no use. I mean, that, that shield we have, we've upgraded it to the max. It's not really that useful, is it? Another one of these things, we just dodge that because we don't need to face it. We're just here to upgrade some of our weapons and keep going, so. We'll move on to the northern part, where the Will of the Wisps things were. By the way, I just had to capture about eight Will of the Wisps. That was the mistress back there. So, you know, she wanted us to beat the boss. I don't think the Burgess thing is the actual boss, with consideration. It might just be a very strong opponent, but I can't really be certain. I, I know that the flame thing is probably our only weapon against it. Now to beat this Ogrim, I'm going to probably use an Ogrim actually to, to get it nice and weak and then once that's done we'll hit it with something else. So let's let's use our fire thing on it. Right, that's got it that's that's got it done summon. Right, we can What we'll do is we'll try and take this thing down first and then we'll just allow the trader to do the final hit. I'm gonna use the trader anyway. Even though I was suggesting it would just get the final shot in. There we go. Right, it's down. It, these are actually quite easy to kill Ogrins. Once they're down. That should upgrade the Traver. Right. Now this thing's even cheaper. I don't believe there's anything else we can upgrade. But I'll just check. 
got the pukey and all this. Right, pukey's maxed out. Maxed out. Uh, yellow dust, we don't have any of that yet. That's maxed out. We don't even have red liquid. Right, spriggans. We'll upgrade the diagram to the next level. We haven't faced a spriggan yet. So we'll know later. And we know where the burges are. So let's, let's go face the burges. Let's, let's face that burges. We don't exactly have full health, but I don't think it should be too much of a concern. We now have that punky fish at the max capacity, so let's, let's do this boss battle against this overly big Burgess. Should go like a spiky beast in a moment. There we go. Right, we can still attack it even at a distance. Right, just jump back a few. Decided to do a puffer fish on us. We'll just try and hit a hand from a distance. Crap. See that? Right up close there. It's just just trying to heal itself or something. We'll just just wait for it to go back. No, right, right, and out and out. Right. Okay, that's what we need to do. We just need to get away from it when it ever decides to do a puff of fish on us. Or what it's doing now with the slap attacks. Just get a bit of burning in. Once this thing is up for grabs, we're gonna we're gonna come actually can we do beast mode? Beast mode, right, beast mode with fire, we're gonna win this battle. Alright, come on. Look, I'm just using the fire, purely fire on it right now. Okay, now we've got a chance. Right, go down, go down, go down. One. Down, 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 two. Down, down, come on, come on, give us a chance, give us a chance. Three. One, 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 four. Yeehaw, come on. And there's five. One more left and we've got the Burgess. Yes! We've just captured this ridiculously hard Burgess. And we're still in beast mode. So let's get out of that. Don't want to waste any of that. Right, so we've got a Burgess. Apparently, I think it can destroy crystals. If that thing's true, which it possibly is, we, we can test out that theory in about three clicks. Alright, so there's that thing over there that's in that's in a red crystal. Now, if we're right, we could actually... Do, I'm going to check in this corner first, see if that leads anywhere. Alright, that leads somewhere. So let's equip that Burgess instead of a tray book. See if we can actually break this crystal. Okay. Right. This might break the crystal. It doesn't break the crystal. It doesn't break the crystal. Okay. That's interesting. It doesn't break... I'm still confused. I don't understand why it's not breaking the crystals. It appears there's more we need to do. There's something else we need to find. Oh, another Burgess. Okay. I think we've, we haven't got enough for another, like, over the blow attack. We're gonna keep trying to. We're gonna try and burn him down the normal way then, because this this will upgrade our puffer fish thing anyway, so it's not entirely a bad decision really. Right, right, right. Oh no, I think I need to kill it with the uh, with the puffer fish. That's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Right, it's, it's really doing a number on it now. I like, really do need a beast mode to take it out. And its own self isn't doing damage against it. This is annoying, right? Am I right? We were doing so well about three seconds ago. Just break away and use that crystal over here and heal ourselves. Okay. Just jump away. Jump away. Just need to get two in and it's can make a dodge. We'll just get steadily closer. We know it's gonna drop its guard soon. And there we are. Jump away again. Just wait for it. It's gonna right, we'll get a little closer now. Get a little closer. We'll burn his kidneys. Right. Let's get a little closer and jump back. 
Burn him. He's dropped. He's dropped. We, we've got a chance now to do rapid shots in here. And we've got him on the ropes. Let me just check. I'm going to quickly check if we indeed have to kill him to, to get the benefit of that. Right. Kitty Pink. Yeah, we're going to have to kill him with the fire thing. And Burgess just wants you to kill like 30 folks. So, we're going to keep doing rapid burn. We, we should be able to kill him. We should be able to kill him with this. There we go. One Burgess closer to getting our fire move boosted to the extreme. Right. Good job, people. Good job. Let's keep up the good work, eh? Let's keep up the good work. We'll head out this way. See where this leads. Burgess wasn't a boss though, that's, that's quite interesting. Then this must be the boss up ahead or something. We found a safe point. Let's not put that to waste. Alright. We're going to keep going. No, it might make sense to, to actually stop here since we've just done the boss battle twice effectively. But I, I don't know if there might be another boss battle ahead considering what we've just done. Let's talk around. Oh, alright, I'll tell you. We'll ask about these other things. I mean, the folklore, I suppose, we'll ask about. Up ahead is a giant monster, a fusion of souls and memories known as folk a folklore. Its name is Serunimus. It must be handled carefully. It is heavily armoured and its tentacles are lightning swift. Your best bet is to rack it up in the head to quieten it down. Whack it in, quiet it down. The question is, who should whack it? Ask about this pooky festival. The pooks of ten hold festivals up ahead. Thirty pooks dance together, celebrate and bury treasure. We should have a look. Audience hall. The fairy lord had a room made to summon the dead. After all, it's sometimes difficult to find the dead in the vast netherworld. Normally only messengers who are on quests of the living can use it. Interesting. Fairy lord's hall. So one like you has no chance of gaining an audience in the Hall of the Fairy Lord. Okay, so down that path is where the boss is. We know that now. We're going to ignore him, and somewhere this is the place of interest then. If you defeat the folklore up ahead, you can see the memories of the dead. You're in for a surprise though, if you value your life, return to the wor your world. So that's the way to the folklore. Never mind, we'll go down this side path. This is where I think we're going to just kill like 30 folk or something like that. Hopefully this isn't the boss section, otherwise we're in for another few minutes. Because this, I'm just going to do this section to wrap up before we face the boss. Okay, yeah, look at that. We're going to be killing those things. With a Burgess. Yeah! Kill them all, Burgess. Kill them all. Greed, my friend. Greed. Kill them, Burgess. Look at that. This, this is how we get... Burgess just needs to kill like 30 of these things. Now there's no point actually absorbing their uh, life force energy because it's better to just have a really strong weapon, you know? Really, well, we, we obviously will try to get boss mode at some point from these creatures, but it's better to just wipe out these little weak ones. Yeah, right. Burgess is almost done, pretty much. Yeah, we just need to kill him a few more times. A few... Right, just need to kill this one. Right, one more. One more! Okay, we've killed them enough that this crystal should have lost its guard. Are you serious? Okay, we'll get everything else then. Got that. A walnut thing, we've got another, we've got another one here. We really need to find out how you break these fire crystal ones. Because clearly they're important. Let's try putting fire on it. Are you serious? Are you serious? After all that, you just need to set fire to it. Well, that's a kick in the teeth for it, isn't it? Hilarious. Still hilarious. Hopefully we've not just walked into the other side of the boss battle. Don't think we have. Shit, we have. We have. I'm going to try and leave. If there's an option to leave, I'm going to try and get the hell out of here. We know how to beat this thing anyway, but, you know, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. 
The picture book details folklore weaknesses. If they are difficult to defeat, check the book and blah 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 blah. That thing's weak against fire, I know that much. But how I need to get the hell out of here. I can't get the hell out of here. Okay, okay guys. Alright, right, I'm gonna freeze it. I'm gonna freeze it. In the next episode, we will be facing the boss. So be ready.